This is Le Pont d'Arc in the magnificent valley of the Ardèche River. This rustic region made world headlines in 1994 when a large grotto containing 30,000 year old cave paintings of great significance was discovered. Superb replicas can be admired in the Caverne du Pont d'Arc. All Smith and Deer were already part of the regional diet of the time. Many hills are now covered with vineyards and chestnut trees, and the area is famous for making the delicious candied chestnuts called marron glacé. This chocolate cream with glacé chestnut and raspberries is to die for. First, I heat 60 milliliters of milk and 80 milliliters of cream in a saucepan. I pour the preparation over 100 grams of the super Valrona cooking chocolate and stir until very smooth. It is a chocolate used by many of the world's top chefs. Next, I pour the chocolate cream into four molds. I top with five small pieces of glassy chestnuts and allow to cool. I fill the cavity of some raspberries with a little raspberry jam and dust with icing sugar. Just before serving, I decorate the chocolate preparation with the raspberries and a whole glacé chestnut. This crème au chocolat et marron glacé aux framboises is simply too good. Olivier Samin, one of the Ardèche most talented chefs, likes to use ingredients from nearby growers and producers. The strawberries are in season and a local farmer has invited us to taste the different varieties. They also grow potatoes and Olivier can't resist harvesting a handful to taste them in a new recipe. Next, we visit Marc, a dedicated snail farmer, who looks after the process of raising the popular French specialty from conception to egg laying and to the carrying of the eggs until the birth of the baby snails. The baby snails grow outdoors nourished with green plants and cereals until they reach adult size. This tray of mature snails was slow cooked in a vegetable broth for 90 minutes. The snails are then packed in clean shells and garnished with butter seasoned with garlic, shallots, parsley and salt and pepper. In his restaurant, the Carré d'Alessius, Olivier prepares a superb creative cuisine. Surtout en ce moment, on est sur le printemps, on a vraiment à portée de main, on a vraiment des produits exceptionnels. Donc c'est vraiment à nous d'aller les, les chercher et puis de les, les mettre en valeur sur notre, euh, dans notre cuisine. In the kitchen, Olivier is a great chef and a superb leader. Each member of his team is totally concentrated on the task. Each movement is exact. Each dish is well constructed, offering a beautiful contrast of textures and flavors, and each dish looks so appetizing. His young dessert chef uses the strawberry we collected earlier to assemble an impressive fruity dessert, and his Valrona chocolate and coffee dessert is just as stunning and so delicious. Tomorrow I'm traveling down the Saône River to discover the specialties of the region.